Hello everyone, my name's Holobot and welcome to my guide on mobility in Code Vein. When I've been doing my trips around the internet, I have noticed that some people are still a little confused by this system, so I thought I would shed my findings, my, my shed my light, my finding, my finding light on the situation, and hopefully uh, it clears up any doubts that you may have had. So first things first, first, what is mobility in Code Vein? Mobility basically dictates what an dodge animation you are going to have when you're running around the world. Now, this is based off two things primarily, though there are other contributing factors. But the main two things are your blood code and the percentage, uh, the percentage your items, the percentage, the percentage weight of your items in comparison to the maximum weight capacity of said blood code. So without further ado, let me jump into it. Mobility comes in three sizes. You have quick, as you can see here on our ranger blood code. You have normal, as you can see here on our fighter blood code. And you have slow, as you can see on our berserker blood code and even further than this depending on what weapons we have we will see different things happening so let me give you the juicy goss what are the rules what are the rules well i'm going to tell you the rules first things first let's start with the ranger blood code which is a base quick blood code so with a ranger blood code as long as your weight is below 100% of the weight capacity, which in this case, when we look up here at weapon set 1, is 70. And we're currently sitting at 65, which is very nice, very below. We are going to get this quick zippy dodge. Very nice, very nice and easy kind of cool as well like the animation all good what if we what if we don't like quick dodges though what if we want to push that up to the next level well let me show you here if you push that weight up into uh the we, we got the weight down here if you push that above 100 I believe this might end up actually being like 70.1 or something like that. We are going to move ourselves into the normal mobility tier. There you go. As you can see, we've got a nice diving roll now. And then you know what? I don't like I don't like the normal mobility anymore. I want to be a slow fat roller. What you need to do to achieve this with a quick blood code is to push your weight capacity up or your weight sorry up to 135 percent of your blood code's weight capacity now don't worry if you're not super quick on the maths you don't have to get that calculator out as you can see down here as i shift around weapons the game will do the calculation for me and give me an indicator based off that put those calculators away guys there's no need. Okay, so that covers the quick blood code right now. What about a normal blood code? So, we're starting with the fighter. Let me make sure that we have the right stuff equipped. Okay, very good. We've got a normal roll now. To maintain the normal roll with a normal blood code, you need to have between 50 and 100% of your weight capacity. Now, how you like the fight, you like the stuff that fighter gives you, but you did enjoy that quick roll. Can you achieve that? Well, yes, you can indeed. That is totally fine. If you can drop your weight below 50%, you will drop back into or go up to, I should say, the quick mobility tier you've got your hunters dodge back nice and easy now again 
we all like to uh, to run with a slightly uh, slightly heavier set. Strength builds all round. So how do we achieve that? Well, anything over a hundred percent will now give you the slow roll. You might be asking me, well, what happens at 135% then, Hollow? As far as I'm aware, and in my experience in the game so far, nothing. Nothing will change if you go over the 135%, as there are only three tiers of mobility. But I could be wrong. Please let me know, of course, in the, uh, in the comments. If that's not the case, I will make an update to this if I have that completely wrong. Okay, so that covers all mobility types within a normal base mobility. What about a slow base mobility? How do we uh, how are we going to manipulate this one? Well, in a slow base mobility, as long as you are uh, above Wait. Am I okay? Yeah, we're we're fine. As long as you are above 50% capacity, you are going to be rolling with that slow roll. As long as you are above 50%, you've got this. Going over 100, again, as far as I'm aware, will not do anything. And then in turn, going over 135, again, will not do anything. I could be wrong. Please let me know. How are you going to get, though, that down? To uh, 50% or, or to a normal roll. Well, similarly to how we, uh, how we got down to a quick roll from a normal blood code. If we drop ourselves down below 50% but over 20%, we will gain the normal roll back. Is nice. There we go. But kind of hard to maintain. Getting yourself down between such stri strict... Uh, uh, with such restrictions could be a bit difficult. But hey, whatever you need to do, right, guys? Now, can you achieve a quick roll with a slow blood code? Well, of course you can. If you drop that weight capacity down below 20%, you are zipping all over the place even with that slow blood blood code. Confuse all your enemies as a berserker by zipping around as if you were a ranger. Nice and simple. So the basic rules of it, you might have been able to tell so far, but just to make sure, the basic rules of it are as long as your um, weight is at 100% or less, you will have at least the base mobility. That's rule number one. That's point one. As long as you are below 100%. Then going over 100% will put you into one, ca one mobility category slower than your current blood code's base mobility. Going over by 135 will put you to times slower two uh, mobility categories lower than your blood code if you manage to get down below 50 percent or less then you can achieve a mobility type uh, one tier faster than your blood codes base mobility and if you can get your weight uh, percentage down below 20%, then you can, uh, you can achieve a mobility type two times faster than your blood code mobility type. Obviously, sort of restrictions applying, not going quicker than quick, and not going slower than slow. Anyway, guys, I hope this has been somewhat helpful to you. I, I've recorded this all in one take without a script, as so, I'm sure you can tell. Uh, hopefully it's useful. If you enjoyed yourself, please remember to hit the like button. It means a lot to me if you could do that. 
you have any queries with what I've been saying down below or anything that you think I've said wrong, please let me know in the comments. If you're interested in action role-playing game content, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitch. Links for both will be in the description down below. And fingers crossed, I see you next time, guys. Thanks. Have a nice day.